Things have changed here, Lou. Last time I was here, he'd hired Indians to attack the train. <laughs> Leonard, Lou, are you up for a quick game of Pac-Man? Uh, uh, thanks, no. but maybe later. Okay. <laughs> We've got something important to discuss with you. Aha. Uh -huh. You see, the thing is... Hold that thought, gang. I love this part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I live for that. Uh, <laughs> all right, go ahead. I'm listening. Edward. You've been ducking our calls for weeks. Now, you, you can't put this off any longer. We've got to talk to you about your finances. Okie dokie. <laughs> you see, as your business manager, it is my responsibility to tell you that your lawyer has something to tell you. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. I guess the best way to do this is to come right out with it. Fine. You're broke. <laughs> I don't understand. You see, Edward, I've been going over your books a number of times, and it seems there's a cash flow problem. Ah, what does that mean? You're broke! <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, don't be a pimp. If there's a problem, you'll handle it. You always do. I don't think there's anything anyone can do this time. No. Is that the spirit that won the West? Hmm? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> you talk to him, Lou. I'll try. <clears throat> Edward, all your money is gone. Gone? Gone. <laughs> That's impossible. I'm rich. I was born rich. I'm going to die rich. Well, then you should have died yesterday. <laughs> hey, Lou, you know what they say? Smile and the whole world smiles with you. Brown and you get lines on your head to trap lint. Uh, your turn, Leonard. Edward, I want you to look at me. All righty. Let me explain the concept of no more money. <laughs> You've got to realize what this situation means to you. It means no more yacht races in Florida. Oh. No more weekends in Paris. Uh, and no more servants in this house. Now, wait just a minute. I draw the line at servants. Edward, servants get paid. They will not work for free. Mine will. They've been with me since I was a child. They love me. They never leave me. <laughs> You know, from now on, I'm going to have to stagger their vacation. <laughs> Look, Edward, we've been friends a long time, and I'll do whatever I can to get you out of this mess. Thanks, Lou. Oh, Lou, now, don't forget the picnic Sunday. I'm bringing the weenies. Yeah, weenies. See, Edward, that's your problem in a nutshell. Life to you is, I'm bringing the weenies. You take no responsibility for your own affairs. You just don't care. But you do. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Leonard. 
Now I realize there's a problem with my finances. Something about my cash not flowing. Right. <laughs> well, fix it. Edward, I can't. Len. 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 <laughs> your problem is you don't have enough faith in yourself. Come on now, suck in that gut. Stick out the chin. Get out there and smell a rose or two. <laughs> and bring me back my bucks. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Not unless you were born in Philadelphia. Well, I took a shot. Mom's a liberal. <laughs> Who'd you want to see? Edward Stratton III. Ah, the man of the house? He's over there, behind the train of the house. Thanks. <laughs> Mrs. Stratton? Yeah. Are you Edward Stratton III? That's me. Pleased to meet you. Hi. I'm your son. <laughs> son? Son? Yeah, yeah but, but, but how? I mean, when? Who? Evelyn, your ex-wife, remember? How can we have a son? We weren't married that long. Well, it doesn't take that long. <laughs> oh. So, you, you're my son. Great. So, what can I do for you? Shake my hand? All right. You in a service or what? I'm in military school. Oh. Hey! Have I got the game for you? It's right over there. See, now, it's called Swamp Wars. You're a space froggy being attacked by a swarm of nuclear-powered moonflies. But you use your electronic tongue to sort of... You know, Evelyn used to look at me just like that. Edward, I was just going over your notes and I... Oh, excuse me. No, 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 Kate, Kate, uh, this is my personal secretary, Kate Summers. Kate, this is my... my... Son. Son. His name is... is... Ricky. Ricky. Oh. I didn't know you had a son. Join the club. <laughs> Kate, what can I do for you? Oh, well, I, I got your note, and I want to make sure that I understand it correctly. You want to make a donation to Toys for Tots? Yes, it's a very worthy charity. Well, yes, but the note says that you want to donate a, a Ferrari? <laughs> oh, well, it's a small car. <laughs> well, I spoke to Lou, and he told me about your cash flow problem. Why don't I just hold off on this donation? Okay. okay. Kate? Yes. Listen, thanks for sticking by me through this. I'm, I'm sure the problem is only temporary, but it's nice to know you're not. Well, you know, you can always count on me. Uh, very nice meeting you, Ricky. My pleasure. Uh, say, have you had lunch? No. I tell you what, I'll make you a sandwich and I'll leave it in the kitchen, okay? All right. All right. Where's the kitchen? Oh. Well, if you take the train to the next two rooms, you'll find yourself at Ghost Town. Bear right at the abandoned mine shaft, get off the old mail hook, and from there, just follow the Burma Shave signs. Oh, you're welcome. See you later. The old mail hook? Yeah, well, nobody really uses it anymore. Don't you think we should talk or something, Dad? Yeah, well... <clears throat> Good idea. And there's nothing better than a nice chat over a rousing game of foosball. <laughs> you sort of work or anything? Not so far, Knockwood. <laughs> you want to know about me? You mean there's more? Score! Hey, nice shot. You know, I've always tried to imagine what you look like. Whenever I ask Mom, just show me a picture of a horse's rear end. <laughs> Now, see, the temptation here would be to insult your mother back. But I like to think I'm bigger than that. See, I take into account the fact that she's over 30 now, and that's 210 in dog years. 
<laughs> Dad? Hmm? You're a great guy. Oh, thanks. Whoa, you sneaky little devil. Touch this one. Score! That <laughs> works every time. Let me do that. I cheated. Oh, I'm going to have to get the drapes to close. Oh, hold that. We'll see. It's on a computer. Everything's computerized in this house. Computers are incredible. See, what they do is... Well, how they work... <laughs> well, let's face it, nobody knows how they work. I do. You do? Listen, does your computer have random access memory, or does it read only memory? Probably. <laughs> well, you really do know about this stuff, don't you? Score! Hey, you cheated! Runs in the family. <laughs> hey, Ricky, um... What's a kid like you doing in military school anyway? Shouldn't you be home having fun? Well, sending me to military school was kind of Mom's idea. You see, she just got married again to some ski instructor, and they said they want to go to Switzerland for the season. They said I'd just be in the way. Oh, that's low. What kind of a parent would say a thing like that about their own kid? So could I stay here with you? Oh, well, Ricky, you're a kid. <laughs> See, this place isn't set up for kids. <laughs> this is a... this is an adult house. <laughs> you're Puck. Something wrong? Dad, I don't want to go back to military school. Couldn't I stay here with you for a while? Oh, well, I... I'm not expensive. I mean, it won't cost much to feed me. I don't eat a lot. I got a real small body. <laughs> Ricky, it just wouldn't work out. Oh, sure it would. I need somebody, and I think you need somebody, too. We could look out for each other. It's just not the right time. I'll tell you what. Let's have a great afternoon together and leave it at that, okay? Sure. Okay. I'll go get my sandwich now. Thanks for playing the game with me. Now my kids ask what Grandpa was like. They can tell me it was a real wizard foosball. Hey, nothing personal. Yeah, I'll tell them that too. But I wouldn't tell them it was the truth. The truth? That nobody wanted me. I'm telling you, Cherry, we're home free. Yeah, Stratton hasn't got a clue what's going on. I picked him clean. <laughs> oh, he, he thinks he's spent all his money on charity. He's got no idea that charity's me. <laughs> but, okay, honey, us. Come on, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, baby. <laughs> no, I, be I better meet you at the airport. Yeah, we're catching a 515 flight to Paris. No, I, I just want to go over the figures one last time. You know, maybe I missed 100. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm. You too. Ciao. Hi, mister. Oh. Hey, kid. What you doing? Oh, uh, just working. Gee, what's that thing? It's a computer. You, uh, know anything about computers? No. Good. <laughs> but it sure looks like fun. Uh-huh. What's your name? <coughs> Lewis Morgan. I'm Mr. Stratton's business manager. I bet you make a billion zillion dollars. <laughs> yeah, lately. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who are you? Well, my name's Ricky. I'm new in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd stop by and say hi. No. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Hi, kid. <clears throat> What's that? Oh, that's just my bank account. No need to look at that. That's neat. <clears throat> Can you show me the Incredible Hulk? Uh, no. Can you show me the Hulk's bank account? Uh, no. You see, it only shows the bank accounts of people that I program into it. 
And when I want to see that information, I just press these buttons. Oh, you mean like this? No, 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 no. <laughs> Only Uncle Lou should touch the buttons. <laughs> but I want to see some bank accounts. Yeah, 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 OK. OK, okay like uh, who's? Um, I know. Show me Mr. Stratton's bank account. <coughs> Bet you can't do that. Uh, listen, kid, you know, I'm, I'm kind of busy. I gotta I make it. All right, all right. All right. All right. A little, uh... Okay, there. See? Wow, there's nothing but zeros. Hmm. Yep, that's because Uncle Lou knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay, kid, I gotta get going. I have a very important appointment. Uncle Lou has to meet Aunt Sherry. <laughs> Au revoir. Hope I see you again. Behind bars. <laughs> Leonard, for the last time, I refused to sell this house. I mean, face it, this train would look silly in an apartment. Hey, Dad! I thought we settled that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ricky, what you doing? Can I show you something? Okie dokie. Right, take a look at this. This is your bank account. Wow, there's nothing but zeros. <laughs> what does that mean? You're, You're broke. broke. <laughs> now this is your business manager's bank account. Hey, Lou's doing all right for himself. <laughs> yeah, lately. <laughs> now we've seen your bank account and Lou's bank account. What does that tell you? Well, it's obvious. Lou's got a lot more money than I do. I think I better talk to you. I think I'm with you, Ricky. Edward, according to these figures, Lou's been siphoning off your money and putting it in his account. You know something? Call it a hunch, but I think Lou's a crook. <laughs> I can't believe the nerve of that guy. He came to me looking for a job because he couldn't get one on account of his prison record. <laughs> so I said, hey, how about handling my money? <laughs> and he turns right around and steals from me. I don't know, maybe I just can't read people. <laughs> well, don't feel bad. Lou suckered me, too. I better call the police and have Lou picked up. And Edward, from now on, please let me know when you hire someone with a prison record. Okay, Leonard. Uh, uh, Leonard? What? Now that you mention it, you know the fellow that put in my burglar alarm? I'll take care of it. You think everything's gonna be okay now? Yeah. Why don't you go get that sandwich, Ricky? You sure earned it. All right. You see? each other yeah Ricky you did real good I'm I'm proud of you thanks hi Kate hi after all you can you show me my bedroom uh sure boy you sure made him happy yeah but you're not so happy Kate I want you to do something for me. Yeah, what? I want you to drive Ricky back to military school. You mean you're gonna tell that little boy that he has to go back? No, I thought you'd do that too. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, don't you think that that is your responsibility? Yeah. Oh, good. I can't, Kate. Edward. You've got to. I like Ricky. I don't want to hurt him. Well, then why don't you let him stay? Kate, what kind of an example would I be for that little boy? I was a rotten son. I was a lousy husband. What makes you think I'll be any different as a father? You could try. <coughs> no. If Ricky stays, I'm afraid it'll just end up hurting him even more. The truth is, he's better off without me. Uh, Ricky, hey, hey, 
want to see my space rod he suck up some moon flies? Watch this. I dated a space froggy once. Uh, listen, Ricky, why don't we sit down and talk for a minute, okay? Sure. You know, this is a great place. I hope we never move. Yeah. Uh, Ricky, I just had a talk with your dad, and uh, you're going to have to go back to military school. Oh. Well, why didn't he tell me himself? Oh, well, he wanted to, but he got an urgent business call. He had to leave immediately. You're lying, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, listen, Ricky, there's something you've got to know about your dad. Uh, well, he's a very good man. And he likes you very much. But he has trouble accepting responsibility. I, I guess you could say he just never grew up. But I helped him. He said he was proud of me. Well, I thought that, well, I, what I mean is that I was hoping he was, Kate, I want to have a father. Okay. Let's go. Uh, no, we don't have to leave right this minute. Why no. don't we just stay and... It's okay. Let's go now. All right. But wait a minute. Uh, why don't you take this picture of your dad with you? Well, thanks. If he doesn't want me, I want the picture of him either. probably took one look at you and threw you out, just like your mother did. You know, Derek, now I see why all you gerbils commit suicide. <laughs> look, my father loves me. Oh? Then how come you're the only kid around here who nobody comes to see on Parents' Day? <laughs> How'd you know it was me? Swamp things don't wear Lacoste shirts, Dad. <laughs> oh. So, how you doing? Do you really care? Hey, come on now. Swamp things have feelings too, you know. <laughs> Can I sit down? Go ahead. Good. <laughs> Dad? Hmm. What are you doing here? Oh, 
Well, after you left, I remember there was something I forgot to say to you. What? Don't leave. Is this another one of your games or something? No, Ricky. <laughs> I mean it. What changed your mind? <laughs> what? What changed your mind? Oh, well, you know, I was thinking. You were right. I think we could learn a lot from each other. You know, a kid your age shouldn't be stuck here in military school. All they teach you is how to be a little man. You ought to have a chance to be a little boy. I could help you with that. <laughs> Boy, could I help you with that? good at it. Yeah, maybe a little too good. See, that's why I can learn from you. How? Well, Ricky, you probably won't believe this, but I'm a little different from most people. <laughs> see, see, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Everything was always handed to me all my life. I, I guess I just never, never really grew up. <sighs> Man my age. Old enough to be your father. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Anyway, I figure maybe I could help you be more of a kid. You could help me be a little less of one. Are you sure you just don't want me to run your computers? No. I can hire somebody to do that. I can hire somebody to do anything. I can't hire someone to be my son. That's your job if you want it. You want it? Son? You bet, Dad. <laughs> okay, let's blow this joint. Ha! Up, up, ho! Oh, never again. Ta da! <laughs> Ricky, where are you going? Home. Hey, Derek. <laughs>